Today is September 7th, 2016, so it's time for me to shoot another monthly update video for the month of September in which I'll talk about what went on during August and what we've got coming up in this, this month of September, what's, what's left of it. Unfortunately, there's quite a bit left. As usual, I like to begin by highlighting three big things that I want to particularly bring to your attention. So one of these is a talk that I'll be giving later this month locally at the Shorewood Public Library on the ethics of anger. If you're in the area, the Milwaukee area, the Fox Cities or Chicago area, I think you probably want to come to this because this is one of my main areas of, of research and it's going to be a great talk. Uh, the next big thing, big thing number two, is that right now we're engaged in a lot of preparation for International Stoic Week, which is coming up in October, so it's not a September thing, but a lot of the prep work is happening in September. So um, I'm going to be contacting a lot of uh, organizations and institutions, since I'm editor of Stoicism Today, and seeing who's doing Stoic Week events. Uh, we're going to put all that together for Stoicism Today, for Stoic Week, so that people worldwide can find out what's going on. And if you're interested in having me come in and give a talk about anything Stoic related, I'm certainly up for that during Stoic Week of, of 2016, which will be in mid-October. Um, the third thing, third big thing that I want to talk about is it's the time of year when uh, students start to realize what the classes that they're taking are like and whether they're going to need some assistance. One of the big things that we do here at Reason.io is provide tutorial sessions. And so if you want to do better, then you want to book the best is, is our, our motto. And I've been tutoring people in philosophy, religious studies, and a variety of other subjects as well for over 20 years. So I'm going to be um, probably producing a video about that and talking about that in some other venues. If you're interested in that, email me at greg at reason.io. The address is right there. And I can hook you up with a, with a session. August was a fairly busy month. We had uh, several events, um, all of them either local or online. The first one, we started out the month of August with uh, one of the lectures in our quarterly lecture series on philosophers in the midst of history. And that one was on Descartes, early modernity and the wars of religion. Very well attended, some great discussion and questions. You can see the video for it linked below. Um, we also had our, it would be our eighth uh, lecture in the monthly lecture series that we've been doing with the Brookfield Library on uh, speculative fiction and philosophical themes. This time we concentrated on Ursula K. Le Guin and her Heinisch cycle. So we talked about uh, a number of her novels, a really wonderful session. Again, you can see the link to the video for that below. And we had our, our monthly uh, public free Q&A uh, on, on Hegel uh, a little bit later in the month. Uh, we do this using Google Hangouts. We'll keep using it until Google changes their Hangout structure. So those were the events for the month. Um, I also did a, quite a bit of, of coaching and counseling and tutorial sessions, um, working with, with uh, learners who wanted to set up their own curriculum for their own studies. We're getting ready, like I mentioned, for a big push from traditional students in high school, college, university who are struggling with their classes and need tutorials. Um, I also started something new and you can see once again a video about it linked to below. Um, I started offering some sessions for learners uh, with who are doing homeschooling with a platform called OutSchool. And so we're, we're seeing how that's going to work. We're just sort of experimenting with it. Been offering these Introduction to Plato courses and putting some other courses up there. Uh, and, you know, we'll, we'll see if it, if it turns out to be something that's quite viable. Um, we'll, we'll continue with it. If not, we may pull back from it. 
Um, video work. I, I finally managed to get my quota of, of six half-hour Hegel videos done, getting the last one done on the very last day of the month. Very happy about that because, it, it, you know, my Patreon supporters are, are supporting me to get this work done. Now, they, they support me per video, so if I don't get videos done, they, their, their contributions don't come in. But it's also important that I get these done not just to satisfy the people who, who want them, but so that I can stay on track so that someday I can take on another work other than Hegel's Phenomenology. You can see the, some of it back there on the board uh, right now because um, I haven't erased it yet. But eventually, you know, we're, we're going to get through the Phenomenology and then start looking at other works as well. Um, I also released some Aristotle videos, and uh, we're going to continue to to release those for, on the Nicomachean Ethics. There were the event videos, and then of course there's that out school video where I'm explaining why I'm getting involved with out school. Uh, I've been working on presentations quite a bit, uh, presentations that I'm planning on giving this fall. Uh, many of them focused on Stoicism. There's the big presentation at Stoicon, of course, in, in October, uh, which is going to be a workshop on, on Stoicism and managing anger that I'll be giving. I'm also doing a workshop here at Marquette for the graduate students, specifically on the faculty of Proiracis in Epictetus. It's going to be some close reading stuff, so I've been putting quite a bit of time and work into those. Um, I, I published uh, my, my third piece in the series on Epictetus and resources for dealing with anger, one's own anger and other people's anger, in Stoicism today. It's one of the benefits of being the editor is I get to every once in a while slip in one of my own pieces. So that series is now complete and I will probably after Stoicon and after Stoic Week take it back up and talk about some Seneca and some other theorists uh, who, who discuss anger as well. Uh, my Epictetus class, the online class that I've been teaching uh, with, with Rees and I.O., finished up and it was it was quite good. Um, we had a lot of uh, excellent discussions over the course of that six week class and I'll, I'll be offering it again next year. So those who are interested in that can find out about that. I also did some blogging, um, perhaps not as much as, as I would like, but I was able to get some writing done in Arexis de Noetica with my main blog, the one I started six or seven years ago, and in Half Hour Hegel. So that's what went on during August. We've got a lot coming up in the month of September. There's uh, three events. Um, two of them are local and one is online. So on September 8th, um, which is tomorrow night, uh, Brookfield Library, 7 p.m. I'll be doing that, that sci-fi fantasy uh, philosophical theme series. This time we are talking about Michael Moorcock and his notion of the multiverse and the eternal champion, but we'll really be focusing on Jerry Cornelius and the Cornelius Chronicles. Uh, very fun stuff. Uh, a little bit of a departure from some of the other stuff that we've been doing. On uh, the 14th at 5 p.m. Central Time, I'll be doing my Half Hour Hegel Q&A Hangout, 5 to 6. Uh, I'll answer any sort of Hegel questions you've got, anything about German idealism that you want to bring up that I'm actually competent to talk about. And then on the 19th, we have that big lecture at the Shorewood Library, The Ethics of Anger, where I will be uh, talking in, in fairly general terms about what some of the great thinkers over uh, the course of history have had to say about this emotion and how we ought to sort it out for ourselves. And I'll be answering questions and, and addressing uh, whatever sort of comments or discussion people want to bring up. This is an area that I've been researching intensively now for over 10 years, and so it, sh it should be quite an interesting talk. So those are the, the events we've got coming up. Um, I've already got some coaching and counseling and tutoring uh, appointments on the books for, for uh, this month. Uh, I've already done a few this this week as well. And um, we're also, like I said a bit earlier, gearing up for Stoic Week. So Stoic Week is an international set of events. It's worldwide. It got started by the Stoicism Today project team. 
uh, of which I'm I'm a recent recently joined member. Uh, I came on as a member and as the new editor of Stoicism today back in March of this year. You know, great welcome by everybody on the team. There's some you know great scholars and psychotherapists who who work together. And the whole idea is to promote modern Stoicism. Not all of us are necessarily 100% uh, Stoics. I'm, I myself am sort of an eclectic blend of you know Stoic and Aristotelian and some stuff from existentialism. But I'm very happy to be a part of this. And um, what we're doing is trying to get, there's a lot of events going on worldwide and we want it to be publicized so that anybody can go to the site and find out if there's an event near them and um, you know where they might go if there's online events to find out what's what's going on. So there's going to be a lot of cool stuff coming up. On the back end here I am contacting literally hundreds of organizations institutions asking them you got you got something going on for stoic week uh and, and as a side note if it's if it's local uh i'm willing to come in and, and give a talk as the editor of stoicism today and somebody who does research on stoicism particularly on epictetus uh i'm very happy to come during stoic week which will run from the 17th to the 23rd of october that's a monday through a sunday um, if, if somebody wants me to come in and it's not local and they're willing to you know, pay for my travel and, and book me and all that, then I'm perfectly happy to do that as well. But I'm primarily looking for local events during Stoic Week. Um, so there's all of that going on. And uh, I'm doing, you know, engaged with the, the team and doing a lot of planning. There's a lot of work, a lot of moving pieces to this, but it's really cool to see what's going on. So getting pretty excited about that, I think you can, you can tell. Um, what else? Video work. I'm going to get my six half-hour Hegel videos done for the month, and I'm going to try to get them done earlier than later. So I'm hoping to start shooting later on this week. Uh, I'll be releasing more of the Aristotle Core Concept videos over the course of this month. And I've also got a few personal videos that I've been meaning to shoot for a while. Um, I know one, you know, that I, I'm not going to tell you what it is right now. I'll just leave you in suspense because you'll see it coming out probably um, next week or so. Uh, I, I, I need to do some more of those Dr. Sadler responds, you know, where I, I address common issues or questions that are coming up because I can save myself a little bit of time with, with comments. Um, and then I'll do, I, I promised to do a video discussing philosophical counseling last month. Didn't get to it. Going to try to get to it this month. September is also going to be a month where we have a lot of projects building this business, Reason.io, which is, you know, my, my main uh, work. Uh, it's my, my institution. Um, and it consists of myself and, and my wife. So it's literally a mom and pop business. Uh, we do a lot of, of uh, teamwork with, with this sort of thing. And so we're going to be um, expanding uh, some of the, the activities that we're involved in. We're going to be sending out a lot of uh, inquiries. And we may, in fact, work on the website during September. Or that may get put off until October. We'll, we'll see. Um, there's always some things that, that need to be done. It's sort of like owning a house. You can always find some more work to do. Owning a business is like that as well. So we're going to be promoting the philosophical counseling. We're going to be promoting the tutorial sessions. We're going to be uh, sending out queries about speaking inquiries, all, all these sorts of things. Um, and, and I'm really quite excited about that. Uh, by the way, I should mention uh, once again, if you're running into you know, snags in, in some of your classes or you want to develop a better understanding of, of some of the material that you're studying, you know, I provide a lot of free resources online with my videos, but I also provide one-on-one -on -one tutorial sessions. So if you really want to improve your understanding, you can, you can book me. Uh, just... Uh, you can go onto the website or you can find me by emailing me at greg at reason.io and we'll, we'll talk about that. We can hear that it's really starting to come down outside, so I'm going to try to get this done quickly. Um, the other things that, that we've got going on, um, I've already started getting booked for talks uh, in 2017. Very gratified 
to see that. So if you're interested in, in me coming to speak at your organization or your institution, um, get in touch with me. Again, Greg at Reason.io, and we'll, we'll get talking about that. If, you, if you're you know, in a university and you want me to come in, I, I can at least point you towards the right person to talk to, to, to make the invitation, and uh, we'll, we'll go from there. So that is what we've got coming up this month of September. Looks pretty busy. I hope all of you have a great month ahead, and uh, I'll see you in the uh, ether or face-to-face.